guys, I just want to remind you that my video is an example of flexible learning where you have a choice whether to be alone or to be with someone. This is also self-paced wherein you can hit pause if you want to stop for a while to solve or do other things first before continuing the next step of my discussion. Or you can replay my discussion until you fully understand it, okay? You also have the avenue on how we're going to set in a more challenging way of learning. Just have fun and enjoy the moment. I'm Marvin L. Olazo, a grade 5 mathematics teacher. I have been teaching for almost 16 years this coming July 2020. Don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel, Simply Mars, and I will try to give you the most simple way of solving math problems. By the way, every time before my discussion, I will give you first my Marvin Ola code. I often share this to my viewers and cite my experience as living proof to this philosophy. Since I am teaching math, I created a formula just for this. Good education plus better attitude equals best future. Good education really is our weapon in life. And sabi nga ng ating mga magulang, ito ang tanging yaman na maipapamana sa atin lalo na kung ikaw ay galing sa mahirap na pamilya. And I agree on that. That's why education really a right and privilege that we need to value. Other than good education, we need to be optimistic, passionate, and perceive better attitude in dealing problems and other critical situations. If you have this foundation, I can assure you that best future will come to you. All right, let's proceed now to our topic. But before that, I will give you first Matanong. Now, hit pause. Ah, I pause muna to read, analyze, and solve the problem. And play it after you have done. Okay? Pause it now. Okay, I think you are done. We will check it later at the end of my discussion and see if you got the correct solution and answer to this problem. Okay, our topic is about GCF or greatest common factor. Again, another simple and easy topic but most of the learners find it hard. This topic is very useful to most of the other lessons that I'll be discussing to you. So wala nang kukurap and let's start the ball rolling. Okay, before we continue this topic, need some of your previous knowledge and ideas. Lahat ng mga natutunan yung huwag niyong kakalimutan yan, okay? So first, you need to know synonyms of or words related to greatest. Ano-ano ba yun? Largest, biggest, highest, tallest. Next, mastered already the basic operations. Hope so. Especially multiplication and division. Then, recall the divisibility rules for 2, 3, 4, and so on and so forth. Finally, let us review what a factor is or what are factors. Okay, what do we mean by factor? According to the meaning, factors are numbers you can multiply to get the original number or product. So please refer those factors. According to the example, 6 has the factors of 1, 2, 3, and 6. Now, let's multiply 1 times 6. Of course, we have 6. 2 times 3, we have 6. Therefore, 1, 2, 3, 6 are factors of 6. Another example, a number factor though is a number that divides another number evenly. That is no remainder. So what do you call the number? Divisor. So therefore, sometimes factor called as divisor or factor is exactly a divide. So now, let's try. Let's divide. If there is no remainder, 6 divided by 1, of course, we have 6. Walang remainder. 6 divided by 2, wala ring remainder. 3, ang sabot. 6 divided by 3, 2. 6 divided by 6, 1. So, there is no remainder. So, therefore, factor is also a divisor. Okay, so sometimes, greatest common factor is also known for the GCD. Greatest common denominator okay so now let's discuss more about gcf or greatest common factor now mostly 
this method is being used, traditional method. Okay, so paano ba yan? Napakasimple lang yan. Example, find the GCF of 6 and 12. Okay, first thing to do is to list down the factors of each number. So what are the factors of 6? Alam niyo na kanina, 1, 2, 3, 6. And list down also the factors of 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Now, identify the common factors both can be seen in the two numbers. Ano dyan ang kapag kapareho nila? We have 1, 2, 3, and 6. So, list down all the common factors of 6 and 12. We have 1, 2, 3, and 6. Among the common factors, alin dyan yung pinakamataas. That's why greatest, we have 6. That's why the GCF of 6 and 12 is 6. Now, what if the given numbers are... 99 and 120, 92, 54 and 72, get the GCF daw, 24, 30, 36 and 70. Do you think we can use the traditional method in getting those numbers? Oh, naman pwede. Ah, so, mag-uumaga na, hindi ka patapos. So, therefore, now, I'll be introducing to you the another method in finding the GCF. And this method is called Continuous Division. Let's practice this method on how to use it. I will give you uh, some examples to to show how this method being used. Let's try the first example. We have find the GCF of 24 and 36. Okay? Since we are using this method, we will use the operation of division. So, mag divide tayo. So, first thing, list down or jot down the number horizontally. Then, we will use now the division sign. Inverted na. Kasi pababa tayo mag divide no? So, inverted po yung ating division sign. So, therefore, now, first thing, think of a number that can be divided both 24 and 36. Divisor or factor. Ano kaya ang pair? Meron sila. Okay? Babalikan nyo na ngayon yung divisibility rule as I've said. So, ano? Napakasimple lang. Isipin kasi even number. Okay. Very good. 2. Pwedeng pwede. So, divide now 24 and 36 to 2. What's the answer? We have 12 and 18. Do you think? Pwede pang i-divide ng 12 and 18? O oh, even number? Okay. Sa 2 ulit. Very good. So, divide now 12 and 18 by 2. We have 6 and 9. Pwede pa bang i-divide ng 6 and 9? Mag-iisip lang kayo ng factor or divisor na pwede sa parehong number. Ano? Okay, meron ba? 2? Di pwede sa 9. Okay, very good. We have 3. Pwede, pwede yan i-divide. So, divide mo na yung 6 and 9 sa 3. We have 2 and 3. Yung 2 and 3 ba, pwede pang i-divide? Yes, pwede naman. Pero 1 na nga lang. Oh, so, hindi nakasali yon Kasi nga, pag dinivide mo yung 1, wala nang mangyayari. The same answer din. So, kapag 1 na lang ang common factor nila, it means you have to stop. Stop there. No? Okay. Next, you have to identify what are those common factors na, na, na divide mo sa kanila. Those are 2, 2, 3. Okay, jot down. Put down. 2, 2, 3. Then, multiply those common factors. 2 times 2, 4 times 3. Yes. So, our GCF for 24 and 36 is 12. <laughs> Okay, paano sir, kung iba ang naisip ko sa una, di divide, walang problema yan. Basta pwede i-divide sa dalawang number na yan. Okay, let's take for example this. The same, find the GC about 24 and 36. Paano daw kung iba ang naisip niya sa una? Then, medyo advanced siya. Ang naisip niya, ang pwede naman, ah, pwede naman yung 4. Pwede, pwede. Okay, so divide now 24 and 36 to 4. We have 6 and 9. O ngayon, sa so 6 and 9, pwede ba? Meron. What is that? Okay, 3. Okay, now, divide 6 and 9 by 3. What's the answer? We have 2 and 3. Okay. So, 2 and 3, meron ba? Wala na. Maliban sa 1. So, same procedure. Identify those common factors na dinivide mo sa dalawang number. We have 4 and 3. Put it down. Then, multiply it. 4 times 3. We have 12. Therefore, the GCF is 12. Press pang sa board. Yes. Walang mangyayari. Walang namang maapektuan kung ano ang naisip. Basta. Tama ang nasa isip mo. Okay. Let's say for another examples, continuous division method. We have what if the given numbers are three given numbers 54, 96, and 72. How are you going to get the GCF of three given numbers? Same procedure, list down all the numbers, the three numbers, then use the division sign, inverted design. Now, ang iisipin mo pwede sa lahat, ha? hindi lang pwede sa dalawa. Dapat applicable sa lahat ng given numbers. So, ano? Ayan, naisip mo na naman. O, oh, 3. Tama naman. 
Okay, divide now 3. We have 18, 30 to 24. Oh, so 18 and 30 to 30, 24 na yan. Is there any another divisor or factor na pwedeng divide? Oh, halang halatang halata. What is that? 2, kasi even number. Oh, divide now 18, 32, 24, divide by 2. The answer is 9, 16, 12. Now, what do you think? Is there any number na pwedeng divide pa sa tatlo? 3, hindi pwede sa 16. 2, hindi pwede sa 9. So, meron pa ba? Wala na. So, identify the common function. We have 3 and 2. So, put it down. 3, 2. Then, what will you do? Multiply. So, we get now the GCF of 54, 96, and 72. 6 is the answer. Huwag na nating patagalin. Let's proceed to the last example. What if thou the given are 4 numbers? So, hanggang 4 lang tayo, ha? Ang topic natin sa grade 5, hanggang 4 lang. We have 16, 48, 80, and 96. So, the same procedure. Put all the given numbers. Then, think of a number na pwede sa lahat ng given number. Ano kaya yun? Okay. 2, kasi even number, madaling ma-identify kapag even number. So, divide all the numbers to, by 2, we have 8, 24, 40, and 40. Meron pa ba? Oh, sige, madali lang. Kasi nga, ayan, 4. Pwede yung 4, pwede yung 2, bahala kayo. So, pwede yung 4, okay? So, divide now all the given to 4. We have 2, 6, 10, and 12. Meron pa bang pwede? Oh, meron pa daw, given num even numbers daw eh. Okay, good. So, ano yun? 2. Pwede pa ang 2. So, divide 2, 6, 10, 12 by 2. We have 1, 3, 5, and 6. Do you think pwede pa yung 1, 3, 5, and 6? Hey, wala na. So, same procedure. Identify the common factors. We have 2, 4, 2. Put it down. 2, 4, 2, 10. What will you do? Yes. Multiply. 2 times 4. Yes, 8. Times 2. Yes. The GCF of 16, 48, 80, 96 is 16. Okay, I think you are much ready now to this one. Bro, this exercise. So, get your sheet of paper again. Find the GCF of the following numbers using the continuous division method. Ha? Huwag magsa-shortcut. Again, practice using continuous division method because sa grade 5, I will check your solution about it. So, please, get your piece of paper now. Okay, let's start with first number. What is the GCF of 36 and 54? Pause muna. I-pause muna. Okay? Hit pause. Yeah, I think you are ready now. Let's reveal the answer. The GCF of 36 and 54 is 18. You got it. Okay, let's proceed now to number 2. What is the GCF of 24, 56, and 18? Hit pause. Paki-pause. Now na. Reveal the answer. The answer is a 8. You got it. Ayan, palakpaka naman kung nakuha. Ayan, rinig na rinig ko ang malakas na palakpaka na siga. Awan ninyo dyan. Okay, then we have the last one. What is the GCF of 48, 60, 96, and 132? Pause na. Hit pause. Let's reveal the answer. The answer for this is... 12. Who got? Ayun! Tuwang-tuwa sila, diba? Nakakatuwa kapag nakuha mo ang tamang sagot. Okay? So, those are our practice exercises. Now, I think let's go back to our matanong. Okay, again, hit pause kung hindi mo pa nabasa, hindi mo naintindihan yung problem. Hit pause. Now na! Problems give us uh, uh, a hint or a clue word or clue words. Uh, it will help us in uh, analyzing the problem and how we're going to solve it. Greatest number. So, ah, uh, okay. Kukunin lang pala ang GCF to find the number of, or the greatest number of flash drives na pwede mong ilagay sa isang box. Kasi kailangan daw pare pareho ang ilalagay natin at kailangan yung pinakamataas na pwede nang ilagay para naman makatipid sa box, di ba? So, to answer the first question there, find the GCF of what are the given numbers? We have 60, 90, and 120. So, get your paper again and find the GCF using the continuous method. Practice makes perfect. I am practicing you now. Okay, pause it now and get of what is the GCF of 60, 90, and 120. Pause it now. I think you got the correct answer, okay? The GCF of 60, 90, and 120 is... 
30. You got it. Para pa ka naman. Yeah. Another question there. How many uh, how many boxes of each color ang kinakailangan? Okay, so let's try to answer first. Okay, for the blue flash drives, ilan ba ang fl blue flash drives? We have 60. Kung ang laman ng isang box ay 30, o oh, anong gagawin mo? Yes, you have to divide 60 divided by 30, we have 2. 2 boxes for blue flash drives. So, what about for red ones? Okay, ilan ba ang red? 90. Kung ang isang box 30, o oh, what will you do to get the number of boxes? Divide again. 90 divided by 30 equals... Three, three boxes for red flash drives. So, now, what about four yellow? 120 divided by 30. And so what? Yes, you got it. Four. So we solve now the problem. Four. Matanong palakpakan. If you don't understand, okay, kindly replay it again. Okay, guys. Okay, let's proceed. I think you are ready now for our next activity. Quiz time. You have your own time on how we're going to finish it, okay? So, uh, one to five. Now, it's your turn. Find the GCF using the continuous division method, okay? Practice using the continuous division method. You have your time. Pause it now. I think you are done and let's check and reveal the answer let's start with number one the answer is 12 number two 15 number three eight number four 36 and number five is 18 okay ayan nagsigaw na naman sila who got perfect oh i see so many people got the correct answers and got perfect score congratulations <laughs> And before we end this topic, I will leave you another matano. Okay, ayan po, tingnan mabuti. Hit pause to read and analyze the problem. Go! Hit pause now na! I think you answered already the matano, but we will check your answer to my next video. Doon yung makikita ang sagot. Kaya abangan nyo ang susunod kong video. Alright? Okay, again, once again, thank you very much for tuning in. And don't forget to share this video to your friends. Oh, this is very helpful. Let's just spread love to one another. Bye guys. God bless and happy learning.